Hey people, this is Talem Splash, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. I always forget to say the Zodiac Age, because in my head, in my mind, it's really just Final Fantasy XII, and that's what it is. It's it's the greatest game of all time, in my honest opinion, in my honest opinion. I know I know it's not the most popular game, but it is still my favorite game of all time. Actually, uh, me and Cody were talking about you know, Final Fantasy XII versus Final Fantasy IX, which are my two favorites in the series, by far. Along with 14, but 14 uh, is uh, it, 14's at a comfortable number three. Uh, but you know, we were like debating whether Final Fantasy IX, or in my opinion, if nine or twelve deserves the number one spot. And my answer is, um, it's this. I think that Final Fantasy IX is oh, actually it's the wrong way to go. Uh, I want to go over to the dead end first. Final Fantasy IX is probably the best Final Fantasy game, and what every Final Fantasy game should aspire to be. But Final Fantasy XII will always be my favorite, more than nine. So that that's like it's it's a weird like thing where I think that I think uh, if twelve isn't the best, then nine definitely is. But even if nine is the best game in the series, like just objectively because it's so good, um, then I mean they can't really say anything is objective objectively the best because that's a very subjective objective opinion. But um, regardless, I think that it's uh, like tw uh, nine's the best. 12 is my favorite, and it's always going to be that way. And now with the Zodiac Age, like 12 makes a pretty strong contender for being the best. But then again, that's like, that's not objective. That's just in my own personal opinion. It's my own personal subjective opinion that I'm calling it objective. So you can you can disagree, and I, I won't I won't slap you. Don't worry. I don't care. Like I know some people. I I know, like my friend Icon. Uh, he's a good friend of mine in FF14. Despises Final Fantasy 12. Um, and we had a nice long talk about it. <laughs> he had, uh, I mean, not really. It was just a thing. He was like, oh, yeah, I think it's kind of crap. And I was like, oh, that's sad. I weep a little bit, like a single tear. Uh, then I moved on with life. And that's something that we should all try and do. Not that I'm saying you should act like me, because I'm not great all the time. But I feel like if all of us were okay with, um, you know, like, we disagree on so many things in the world. I think that uh, not agreeing on games is totally fine. You don't all have to like the same game, in my opinion, anyway. That's just me. <laughs> That's just me. So anyway, uh, we, let's go ahead and uh, kill these bats over here. I know I haven't been talking over like Balthier and Friends first uh, first time in combat. Uh, you know, they're just kind of chilling. I know Balthier has a really, really slow ATB, and that's because guns in this game are slow as molasses. But they're really, they're really strong. So um, if you notice, the guns actually have a much weaker stat. But the difference with guns in this game is that they totally ignore any enemy defense. So they'll just deal whatever damage the potency of the, that the gun has without taking into account the defense on the enemy. So it still deals quite a huge amount of damage. Where every other um, every other uh, every other weapon in the game does not ignore defense. So um, there are certain fights where guns would be better. Um, it's just they're they're kind of situational. Um, but you know they're still good and guns are cool. It's just my my main problem with them is not the fact that they ignore defense or anything. Um, guns also never miss, which is nice too. But um, my problem with it is how slow gun the, the gun ATB is. Like if we're controlling Balthier right now with with his gun, just like take a look at how slow this is. Just to uh, like, all right, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. And keep in mind, this is on the fastest speed. Like this is the this is the default speed that the game gives to you. Look how slow this is. See that? Well, you know what? It's still faster than Final Fantasy IX's ATB, right? Oh, man. That game, you don't even get a fast ATB unless you get the haste accessory and have everyone learn it. And that's crazy. Anyway, let's go back to our, our nice, comfortable fast mode. I'm going to go back to Vaughn because I like playing melee in this game. It makes me feel like I'm nice up and close in on the action. It's interesting because in FF14, I like standing back. I, I love playing casters and ranged DPS and healers in Final Fantasy XIV, but when it comes to twelve, I like being up, and clo up close and personal. And I don't know why exactly that is, but that's just the way it is for me. I think because um, it, it's all about a matter of how much control you have. In fourteen, you 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 benefit by stepping back and being able to see everything in the encounter, uh, whereas when you're close up in fourteen, you can kind of get lost in your tunnel vision. But in this game. You uh, don't like you don't gain anything from being further back, so there's nothing wrong with just being up close because you have your like your whole HUD is there, and there's no like a, there's no AOEs you have to dodge or anything, so that's really not an issue. You just kind of go. Anyway, uh, let's see what's in here. We got 86 skill. 
And I know I missed another chest over there. I'll go get it. Oh, we got 55 gil. Um, so now let's go get this one. Sorry for missing it. But you know, you know what they say. I, I, I don't actually, I don't, I don't know what they say. I just, I, I was just saying that. Oh, right, there's 110 gil. So we made some money there. Nothing too bad. Nothing too shabby. Because you know what they say. <laughs> Something. Am I right? Anyway, so uh, this area up here is actually where I was intending to end off the last episode, but I decided to cut it off at that save point just because I thought it would be a little bit better. Um, because, I don't know, there's not this like one zone before you get to this save point right here, and then it's then we just continue on with more cutscenes. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to save my game, I am just going to fully heal by uh, touching it. And I am excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Bring her down. <laughs> Jump down. <gasps> Hurry. <sighs> She's not alone. Our ranks grow by the hour. And our troubles with them. And that's true. So yeah, we have this uh we have this ally with us. And actually if you look She's an ally, but we don't know who she is. We don't even know who, what her name is. She's just all question marks. Isn't that something? Isn't that something interesting? Something a little crazy, huh? Actually, you don't want to let her actually. Uh, you don't want to let her kill anybody because if she does kill anybody, she will take our experience and LP away from us. So um, right now, just, only like make sure we land the finishing blow. She should not do that. There we go. We're good. We good. You all right? Thank you. Um, I'm Vaughn, and this is Balthier, and hey! What's your name? Amalia. Amalia, huh? Nice to meet you. There were others with me. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Oh, now isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. I said it's mine. I'm afraid the jury's still out on that one. You stole that? Yeah. Have you finished? When the guards don't report in, they'll come looking for us. If they aren't already. You should come with us. Better than being by yourself. Very well. What's wrong with her? <sighs> You have a lot to learn before we even get started on your thievery. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, Vaughn. Oh, look at both of his faces. Like, oh, I don't even know where to begin with this kid. Like, oh, oh, Vaughn. Don't tell people you're a thief. That's not. That's not nice. That's not cool. The situation requires I accept such help as I find, though it be from thieves. I shall accompany you until we find my companions. No longer. Let's think of her as a guest, then. Unlike Fran or myself, our guest probably won't be taking orders from anyone anytime soon. And she'll leave when she pleases. So we keep to our affairs and she to hers. I doubt we'll find her wanting in valor, being such an upstanding member of the insurgents. Resistance. Oh, the resistance with the capital R. Anyway, Amalia joins the party as a guest, so we have Amalia in our party. And well, let me tell you, what are we waiting for? Amalia is fantastic. She is my favorite character in this game. Unlike other party members, guests can only use certain actions and abilities. Yeah, that's true. It didn't say that before. No, it did. It might have anyway. Um, so new to Final Fantasy XII, we can control guests, and that's really cool. I'm um, new to the Zodiac Age and International Zodiac Job System, rather. We can control guests. We also have access to uh, her gambits. So actually, she's exactly. The same as Fran, except for the extra gambit. So they're both going to be on healing duty. I'm going to be controlling her. Um, and she comes at level 14 because uh, Vaughn is level 12. See what I'm saying? Vaughn's level affects everyone else's level. So if we were only level 4, then Balthier and Fran would have only been level 5, and she only would have been level 6. 
So it's it, it's really useful to like have Vaughn be as high as high of a level as you can early on. It just it makes like the whole early game, which is already easy in and of itself, so it's not a huge deal if you don't do it, but it makes it easier and you know, it's more like you can farm things earlier and things like that. Uh, which is why I do it. Oh, what's happening now? Oh my god. Oh man, all right. I, I just the noise, like the noise that the flans makes. That's just something else. Anyway, uh, Fran, uh, Fran has fire, so I'm actually gonna switch over to Fran. Um, uh, fire does crazy amounts of damage. It was actually a lot more overpowered in uh, in uh, International Zodiac Chop System, good old ICJS, because um, uh, fire used to be AOE. Now it's single target once more, just like in the vanilla. Which I don't know why they made that change. Like that's such a weird change to make. Considering how easy the game already is, but whatever, like it's still easy. We did it. Oh, he's melting. Oh, that's so disgusting. But you know, this is technically our first mini boss. Like our first story mini boss. I, I would not count the rogue tomato as a mini boss. The Thex Terra was an optional mini boss, I'd say, but still doesn't count. This the flans, I mean they're still so easy, but in terms of like structure in the story, that's probably our first mini boss, and we're also gonna probably get our first boss. Oh my gosh, look at that, Aaron. Uh, you interrupted my video. How about that? I wonder if I can. Can I X that out so that's not like in the way? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it just went away by itself. Yeah, I'm actually uh, recording by uh, just recording my, my screen. So any Facebook notifications that come up, they're just gonna come up. Actually, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll close out Chrome. Usually when I record, I have cl I have Chrome closed. I just forgot to close it. So now it's like, oh, Facebook sees it. It's like, oh, totally fine to, to go ahead and uh, do stuff like that, which is fine. So just give me one second. Okay, we should be good and back to go. I closed out Chrome now, so we shouldn't have any more interruptions. Uh, in oh my gosh, just talk normally, dude. I sh we shouldn't have any more interruptions from Aaron and or uh, Rinnie MT. Um, shout outs to Aaron. Uh, she's one of my oldest YouTube friends, and she's awesome, and I think she's also doing some FF12 videos. So go and check out her, her channel. I'll, I'll, I'll post, like, if, I'm gonna forget, but uh, I'll try and remember to put, like, a card up in the corner, the, like, the top corner right now uh, when, when I'm editing this. Future Jacob, I know you're probably gonna forget, but if you just happen to remember, do it. If not, then, you know, just go, I'll, maybe I'll try and leave a link in the description. That could work, too. Oh, man, it's getting hot in this room, though. All right, now let's go back to Amalia. Usually I, I have my fan on or something, and now there's no air in this my bedroom, and it is the middle of the summer. Oh, we got ghosts! Uh, it, it's still, let me, don't get me wrong, like, this heat is nowhere near as bad as it used to be in the other apartment I just moved out of. It's just, um, usually I have my fan on. I've had my fan on the past couple videos, and I've been recording. I just have not yet, I have not put it on yet. So these guards are Makaras, um, they're super easy to kill. Um, but I love their design. It's like, I don't know, something about it seems very classic. Final Fantasy, like, they don't even feel like evolution. They feel like something out of, like, Final Fantasy V or VI or something like that. Whoa! A Soli- what? Uh, deals fire damage to all foes in range. Okay, I don't know why they called it a Soleil Fang. That's cool. Way to- that can't be meteorites. No, okay. I, I don't know what meteorites are called in this game. Uh, I haven't actually picked up any because I haven't gotten the diamond armlet yet in my main file. But I didn't get it in this file either. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up the diamond armlet at some point, and then I'm sure we'll figure all that stuff out. Once I start actually trying to get, uh, like, the best items for everybody, um, assuming that these jobs aren't totally stupid, um, uh, then I'm gonna be using, like, the cure sheet and all that, uh, which, oh, I can't wait to show you guys how the cure sheet works. That's gonna be some interesting stuff. Um, and, you know, uh, th that's kind of, like, where my, my notes start to die out, because, like, uh, a lot of that stuff, like, uh, trying to get drops from enemies and things, that's all luck. And, um, it's not really something you can totally do in just, a rec like, a single recording session. Like, that's something I'll have to, like, start the recording for, and then, like, cut for, like, maybe an hour until something happens. Um, but, you know, I'll get I'll get to that point when I get to that point. I'm not really all too worried about it. Oh, man, Cure's not AoE anymore. I just see everyone's HP at, like, halfway, and I'm like, oh, I just want to heal all that. But I don't want to, like, waste all that MP now. So, uh... All right, we got a silken shirt. Okay, that's cool. And over here, 
We have, um, ooh, a bow gun. That's our, all right. Well, Theory, you get your first weapon of the weapon of the game. There we go. Bow gun, onion bolts, and a head guard. That's just pure luck right there. Uh, Fran, you put on that silken shirt. Um, let's see, who has the least HP? Uh, Fran, you have the least HP, so you're going to wear the Orche armlet. And I actually kind of want to try out playing Valtheria now. Because I haven't played a bow gun character in so long, or a crossbow character in so long. It just feels kind of weird. Oh man, don't tell me that uh, we just killed everything in this room, though, didn't we? Yeah, there's there's nothing left to fight. That's Isn't that something? Oh well. Um, how are we doing on time? We're like 16 minutes. Okay, we can totally do the boss. We have a boss coming up, so I think we'll do that. We're going to have a boss fight, some cutscenes, and then I'll save at the save point after that. Um, and we should be good to go. So I'm not going to save at this point, save point either. I'm just going to touch it to fully heal, uh, like so. And now we go in through the door. The Overflow Cloaka. What a name. What a name indeed. Time to sip my water. Oh man, I love the way this like, the steam just is, is seeping through this whole waterway. It's such a cool effect. I love this game so much. Oh, and here it is. Here is our first our first real boss of the game. And it only took to it only we only had to get to episode six to get to it, but I think this yeah, this is episode six. That's crazy, considering how long these episodes have been. It's Firemain! It's Firemain. You actually fight Firemain as well in, uh, in 14, but, uh, he's definitely cooler in this game, let me tell ya. Uh, Firemain's like this boss in Halatali in 14 that just looks like a, an elemental. Oh, uh, look at now how nice, uh, Balthier's, uh, ATB is now. Now it's fun to play Balthier. Okay, so, he does this thing where he, um, I think it's called Bushfire, where he just, uh, does this AOE damage, and actually, we got lucky, uh, that, that, uh, thing actually can poison, uh, it can poison people, so, you just gotta make sure you're, that you're ready with your antidotes and stuff like, stuff like that. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool to just, like, stand back and watch Vaughn just pummeling away. There's, uh, Amalia healing and Fran, um, just doing her bow thing. See, the thing that's not as cool about bows is that bows, unlike guns, can miss, and so can crossbows, but... I don't know, crossbows I feel like don't miss as much. Maybe th that's probably not the case, that's probably just me. Alright, so Vaughn is poisoned, I'm gonna throw an antidote. Back in yonder days of vanilla FF12, Amalia would be ready with an antidote just to throw on uh, whoever got poisoned. But that's no longer the case now that um, the guests now share uh, their items in your inventory. I mean, they'll drop some potions, like I think she dropped some, like a good 20 potions in our inventory, but still. Here we go. Oh, look at those knees are trembling. Oh, that's so cool. Later, Firemane. It's good to see you. It's always good to see you. It's always the start of a really fun adventure when you see Firemane. Stand where you are. Now's not the time. Assassin. These people have done nothing. Release them. What are you doing? Don't interrupt me. I'm thinking. Uh, uh. Wait! Where'd you he didn't know what he was going? doing. You have to let him go. You have to. Pinello. Sorry. That dinner will have to wait. I told you. That's enough! Leave him what alone! The... Hold on to this for me, would you? Just until I bring Vaughn back. On your feet, you, over here. All right, all right. Pidgey, aren't we? It's Paul Fear, my brother. What does that philanderer think he's doing? I was to kill Balthier, not those adulpated Imperials. Well, you didn't get to, that's for sure. 
Oh, I, I love this. The beginning of this game is so cool. There's uh, all the story things that happen. Uh, I could gush all day. I could gush all day about how much I just... It instills the sense of home inside me. I love it. It's so good. Oh, we got this This cutscene I'm not going to talk over either. I know I've been quiet lately, but lot, lots of good cutscenes to pay attention to. I brought you some of those flowers you like. Galbana lilies. Remember? You always said how they smelled nice and how pretty they were. Remember? The king. Did you? W were you really a part of it? Even if... Even if you were... Captain Bosch must have tricked you into it. Yeah, so many cutscenes. Man, I really, I really wish that Rex could have been a main playable party member. Like, uh, he would have been so cool, so interesting. I just want to see his reactions to everything that's happened since, like, his death. Um, which, by the way, that cut, that cutscene that we just saw, that was metaphorical. That's that's in Vaughn's head. He just dreamed that on the ground. I see a lot of people saying, "Oh, that actually happened." That didn't. That could not have actually happened. Rex died there in the palace. You're so, awake. Anyway, yeah, I'm just saying that. Where are we? Prison. Where else? More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. And look at the painterly texture and everything. It's so nice. How you doing, Vaughn? Hit your head a little bit, but um, I think you'll be okay. Just chill. Don't don't explore too much, right? <laughs> Relax, it's just a corpse. Jump at every little thing down here and you'll wear yourself out. <sighs> it's not even a proper dungeon. They just sealed off the bottom level of the fortress. Take a look around. We're not the first they've thrown down here. Where's Fran? She's off trying to find us a way out. Remember what curiosity killed? Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save your strength if I were you. All right, well, here we are in the Nalbana Dungeons. See, I told you we'd be back. I told you. Speaking of Rex, we're now in the same town that he died in. It's sad. You know, that's really sad. Oh, Rex, come back. Come back, my man. You were such a cool... Cool potential protagonist, wrestler too. Like of 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 the three that we could have gotten as protagonist, we get the least coolest one. You know, all, all Von Zoon is finding knots of rust, <laughs> but whatever. I would have loved to see Pinello interact with Rex, and like, oh, that would have such a cool dynamic. Like, I don't know, Rex or he, any. Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't want to say anymore. There's not, I mean, there's nothing really more to say that's spoilery or anything. Like, Rex's story, for the most part, is pretty done. Like, uh, there's not really any more reveals with him. But Vaughn does develop, and I'll give him that. Like, when we, when we start to see Vaughn, like, move past his brother is... That's when I start to respect Vaughn a little bit more. It's not yet, though. It has not yet happened. And I still think Vaughn is kind of, uh... I don't know, just... I don't, he, he's Vaughn. <laughs> he's, he's just there. Uh, so anyway, speaking of Vaughn, uh, let's go and uh, talk to this dude. How's it going, number 281? Urgh. Ah, that's a bad voice, I'm sorry. Damn swine. What's he talking about spy hunting? What gives him the right? I don't know, man. Look, take my advice and stay out of there. Well, we gotta go in, we gotta go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, touch this safe crystal. 
And, um, how are we doing on time? We're at 25 minutes. You know what? Alright, we're gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next part, we'll continue on in the Nalbana Dungeons. Which is, as they say, the next dungeon. Uh, it's gonna be fun exploring this place. Well, especially once we get Fran and Balthier back in our party again. Um, oh, it's gonna be so cool. Anyway, take care, guys. Sleep well. Have a nice day. All that stuff. Bye.